Fellow American patriots, I come to you today to let you know that your government cannot overpower you and that you as the people hold your own fate and your way of life in the palm of your hands. You are under the watchful eye of an ever-increasingly tyrannical government, but within that government lies patriots just like you. For fear of retaliation from that very government and the safety of my family, I'm forced to cover my face like a common criminal, like a coward. I've been told that my thoughts are traitorous and that my actions un-American. Why? Because I support the people? Because I support the Constitution? I'm here today to say to those of you that are asleep that you are the traitor. You that stand idly by as our freedoms are slowly stripped from us are the un-American. I ask civilians on the street if they're aware of the form of government that this United States was founded on. Almost every one of them proudly stated democracy. Why we spread democracy across the world, I've heard. Let me read to you Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution of the United States of America. The United States shall guarantee to every state in the Union a republican form of government, and it shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive when legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. And tell me if this one sounds familiar. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How did we get so far from our roots? And while I'm on pledges, many of you might have seen the YouTube video produced by Harpo Productions, where dozens of celebrities pledged to be a servant to our president and mankind. A servant to our president. Last time I checked, our president is a servant to the people. And I pledge no allegiance to any man. You know what I pledge? I pledge that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, so help me God. That's what I pledge. And that's the pledge that every U.S. service member makes. Yet it seems most of them don't even know what's in the Constitution. Second Amendment, written December 15, 1791. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed. I consider any laws that affect my right to keep and bear arms as an infringement on that right. So you lawmakers out there, go ahead. Push past the Blair Holtz H.R. 45 bill. We will use every avenue of peaceful resolve that we have. But you push our backs against the wall, and we will push back. Next is the Tenth Amendment. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, or prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or the people. So all these laws that the government passes, like you having to give your child shock known to cause autism, before your child can attend public school, the restrictions of homeschooling, the banning of medicines that help people, gun control being referred to the committee right now as I speak, the suspension of habeas corpus, so many unconstitutional laws that nine states have already declared sovereignty to the United States government, and it's expected that over 20 do. I was proud whenever I read the Oklahoma State Resolution that this serve as notice and demand to the federal government as our agents to cease and desist effective immediately mandates that are beyond the scope of these constitutionally delegated powers. That's passion, conviction, dedication of the Oklahoma residents. And they're not alone. We the American patriots are tired of standing idly by. This is a call to arms. Support the sovereignty of your states. Reclaim your freedoms. Write your senators. Write your congressmen. Write your state representatives. For you American citizens that are asleep, there's something going on around you, and if you can't see it, it's only because you're so self-absorbed in your trinkets and your cell phones and your video games, your corporate jobs. There's a revolution brewing under the surface of your country, and you don't even know it. If I ask you if you're awake and you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to start searching for information. You need to read your constitution. You need to know your rights. Look up what started the first revolution. 
do research on your monetary system. Keyword, the Federal Reserve. Ask yourself a simple question. Do I want to be free? Or do I just ask for a protective master to watch over me? Time for you to make that choice is at hand. The enemies of the Constitution are not far away in some distant desert. They're found right here on our own soil. We have become complacent. And we've allowed the tyrants to take over this country, and we have no one to blame but ourselves. The time is now. We must rise up together as one voice and resist while we still have the ability to resist. I know many of you are afraid of the government. You wonder how can you fight something as strong as the U.S. military. I ask you this question. Who is it that's behind those rifles that you fear? They are your sons, your daughters, your mothers, and your fathers. They are American citizens just like you. And let me assure you, there is a resistance within the military. We will not be silent. We will not obey. We will not allow the American people to be harmed and the rights be taken away in any manner. We will not disarm the American people during martial law. Let me assure you, patriots, that we will die fighting our brothers in arms if we must. But we will not fight our countrymen. Our lives, we stake on this. Patriots, the time is at hand. If the government pushes us into a corner, then I wish you well, for the fight that lies before us will be the toughest thing our generations have ever endured. Your grandchildren's grandchildren will read about how you fought for their freedoms. We can only hope that they will not be as foolish as we in allowing the government to ever do this again. Patriots, I'll leave you with the saying that my father left me with the day that I left the Marine Corps. Keep your chins up, your heads down. Dig your foxholes deep. Godspeed and Semper Fidelis.